What is up, my Squirtalites? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Ori and the Will of the Wisps. In the last episode, we finished up in Bower's Reach after collecting the memory of the forest. We also learned a little bit about Shriek's backstory, and we took a stop by the Wellspring Glades and spent on, uh, splurged a little bit on some upgrades. And in this episode, I have fast-traveled here to the shrine in the Silent Woods. And we're going to be heading off towards the old ancestral home that uh, Grom talked about that his Gorlock people are from. Now... This, so far, has been a deathless run. In fact, can I show it here? No, I cannot show it here. It has been a deathless run thus far. I have not died once in this entire Let's Play. I won't be surprised if that ends here in this episode because we are about to go into a scripted sequence that is incredibly, incredibly unforgiving. And I will not be surprised if I die here. Um, this is... Uh, like most scripted sequences in any of these games are going to be the death you more often than not But this one in particular is pretty rough. So we are now heading into the area where we got separated from Ku uh, The second time when Shriek chased her down and unfortunately hurt her very badly This area that we are heading on into is known as the oops, excuse me is known as the feeding grounds And this place is no slouch sir. I don't want to deal with you. Actually, maybe I can like use you guys can't I? Oh, maybe I don't want to go down here. Hold on, hold on a second. Okay, this is where this is where we fell down. I want to make sure I'm not going into any area that's like gonna get me killed. Just a second. Let's see, where are we at? Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, we can float on up from here. I just wanted to make sure I'm not missing it on any like special things. Go on through here, maybe. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh! Well, we got a combat shrine. Well, we might as well do that while we're here. That's cool. I'm going to actually be able to re-equip vitality uh, with that. So let's do it. I was not expecting to run into this right here. I totally forgot that this was here. Okay, let's kill both of you guys. If I could get rid of these guys, that would be awesome. Get out of here. All right, give me some energy back. i use that to heal really quickly. Just want to make sure I have as much health as possible. Hi, guys! I'm going to give you a... Oh, gosh. A double spike. There we go. Okay, you're gone. Ow, excuse me. Okay, we're actually able to get some of our energy back, though, just from smacking these guys, so I can use Spike pretty darn liberally here. Okay, what else is attacking me? Oh, you. Get out of here. No, I actually cannot stand these guys. All right, get out of here. You're gone. Let's heal again. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's these things. Okay, we're just going to straight up Spike them, like, instantly. Okay, that explosion radius on Spike is ow, going to be very helpful. So make sure that you use that to your advantage. And I'm going to have to take damage here. Yep. I don't even care. Okay, I'm going to heal. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Now we can start smacking some fools again. Getting our energy back. Hello there. Okay, you are going to hit me with that, aren't you? Don't you dare. No, 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 no. Stop that. Don't take that, dude. Oh, that is a freaking smack if ever there was one. Woo. Give me that energy. Thank you. Okay, sir. Don't, don't throw your tantrum. Don't throw your tantrum. Hey, come here. And die. Okay, awesome. So now I can re-equip, because we have our shard slot upgrade, I can re-equip vitality to give myself a little bit more health. Although, this is not going to help in the upcoming, um, this is not going to help in the upcoming sequence. The scripted sequence that we're about to get into. Oh, what the fr Why do I have light burst equipped? Did I accidentally open the weapon wheel and do that? Oops. That was my bad. Um, all right, let's head back on up this way. Give ourselves a little more health. Is there? How do I get up from here? Hold on. Whoop! It's up. Is there a thing that I can use to my advantage? Maybe I can. Oh, okay, can't do that. Please get out of here. Thank you. Maybe I can head on over here. All right. Yes, I can do that. All right. Let's jump off of this thing and bash our way up. There we go. All right, not so bad. I'm glad we got that shard slot upgrade because we are about to get into some very fun things here. Yeah. Things are getting serious. All right, Ori, just play it cool. Just play it cool. Okay, this is what we in the old school video game world would call a token taker, this kind of area. And you want to know why? It's because you need to know exactly where to go at all times, or you will die. 
Now, luckily, you don't get sent too far back in a game like this, but you still need to know what you're doing. So now that Shriek is looking away, I'm going to book it. Oh, gosh. Go, go, go. Okay, there we go. If I lose a life here, honestly, I'm not going to be too upset about it because this is the kind of area that will kill you. Okay, go, 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 go. Up to that thing. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Hi, Shriek. Oh, stay there. Stay. Ori. Ori, stay. Okay, we're fine. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, where do I go next? Where do I go next? Okay, we gotta book it. We gotta move. We gotta move. Move, move. Woo! Oh, we made it. Oh, no, it fell on me. Oh, <laughs> I should have kept dashing. Oh, there it is. The first death of the playthrough. All right, I'm not too mad about that. This area is, it's a rough one. I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. I can live with that. All right, let's keep going. Let's do this again. We have this down now. We know where to go. There we go. Okay, we're good. Hi, Shriek. How you doing? You gonna bump it again? Yes, you are. Okay, okay. Okay, we need to go. We need to go. Go, 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 go. Book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Okay, we're fine. Move. All right, and we made it. Woo! Man, if I had just made it a little bit further, I wouldn't have lost that first life. I'm not, Again, like I said, I'm not too mad about it. I'm actually kind of relieved that I finally got a death in there because I feel like I was playing a little bit too timidly in this playthrough up to this point. And kind of got sick of that. Okay, so look at this. Now you got the grapple mechanic back, and it works very much the same as it did in Bower's Reach, where those things will try to eat you if you stay there for too long. And here we are. Welcome to the ancestral home, everybody. This place is known as the Windswept Wastes. We can see ghosts in the sand here, Ori. This was the home of the Gorlek before the decay drove them underground. Is this what all Nywin will become if we cannot bring back the light? Yes, the Windswept Waste is a very depressing area. This is, well, it's a desert, obviously. Nothing more can grow. It's a very sad location and a pretty much what the decay does to the different areas in Nywin or pretty much all of the world. And of course, the Gorlek here are very corrupted. They are not very happy fellers because their entire home has been destroyed. And can you really blame them for it? Okay, let's see. We got these fellas. Can I, you want to pop out of the ground so I can get one more hit on you? Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so. The only reason that we are here is because there is an ability that has gotten specifically in the Windswept Wastes that I am going after. So we are going to be exploring this area a quite a bit. Also, keep in mind of this shovel. That is important. You're probably going, why the heck is that important? Well, you'll find out in due time. Yes, I want the ability that is here in the Windswept Waste because the ability that can be gotten here is actually very useful for a lot of places in this game, including Bower's Reach, where we just were. It is going to allow us to explore locations that we weren't able to reach otherwise. Get out of here. <sighs> and you're probably already, already noticing a pattern with a lot of the locations that we have been through thus far in this area. You probably are noticing some things, and I just let him fall on me like a dummy. Um... If, you pay, if you're paying attention, you might already have a hint as to what the ability is that we get in this location. Just a hint. Not gonna be, no, no spoilers. No spoilers at all. But uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna actually move past that. There we go. We're gonna move on up here. Oh, hello there. Head on over this way. Oh, that was a spike. I should have been paying attention to that. Spikes do a lot of damage here, so it is a good idea to actually have vitality. If you can. All right. Do your slow attack so I can hit you twice. And can we drop down here? Yes, we can. Okay. So actually, I'm going to use this. Whoop, whoop. Use this thing. Balance very precariously so I can get that. And then from here, we can head on over this way. Again, the triple jump is coming in a lot of handy in a place like this. Okay, yeah, you cannot stand on these platforms for very long, so you got to jump off of them very quickly. Let's keep moving this way. Okay, this is going to be really fun. Woo! Move, move, move. And we are going to pull that lever. And all that's going to do is create one very brief platform for us to be able to use. There is a trick with these platforms, though, and we haven't 
fully gotten into the tricks that, well, that these platforms involve, you will certainly see in due time. Okay, actually, I probably should come from the other side. So let's do this. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we wait for it to reappear. Get out of here. Bounce off of that and then head on up. And now we are in a new area. Okay, this, oh gosh, this is so fun. And by that, I mean I actually hate this area. Okay, so the way that this works, let's talk about this for a second. Eh. Okay, if you can time that perfectly, you can actually allow it to travel through all of the sand and get this. Last stand, you get a new spirit shard, deal 20% more damage, win below 15% life. Not worth it. Not worth it in my opinion at all. I do not like any shards where you have to play with fire too much. They are just not my thing in this game, if I'm being completely honest. And I am going to get myself that. There we go. And then we can continue to head onward and upward. And from here, we can use this thing as sort of a middle ground to get up this way. And from down here, don't worry about this guy. He's actually very friendly. Sure. Traveler, a word. No, don't worry. I escaped the corruption that befell many of my kin. But there is one problem. You don't happen to have any water, do you? I fear my canteen broke in a fall. Not that I'm thirsty. We Gorlick are tough. I could survive in the desert for days. But a drink of fresh water now and then is good for the spirit. And my spirit is parched. If you couldn't tell, he is going to be a future participant in the hand-to-hand -hand side quest that we furthered in the last episode. Don't you worry. He is going to come in handy. I promise you. But for right now, I want this thing. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is all we came for. This is the burrow ability. Press the right bumper to move through the sand and press it again to dash. This is one of the coolest abilities ever and is incredibly useful in a lot of scenarios. Watch. Yeah, that's right. Ori is like a freaking drill creature. He's like He can just freaking speed through the sand like it's nothing and it's awesome. And you can also dash out of the sand to reach greater heights, which is just so freaking cool. So we actually have a spirit trial here that we can activate. This is all fine and dandy, however, we are done here. We are not going to be doing anything else here in the Windswept Wastes for the time being. All I wanted was this ability, frankly, although I will grab these things since I am in the vicinity and I don't want to backtrack to this specific area too much. So yeah, this is a pretty darn cool ability and it also it feels really good. Whenever there is any sand, you can actually dash like directly through it, like so, and use it to get greater height. So I'm actually going to grab this from Lupo. Hello there, weary wanderer. I'm not sure whether spirits need water, but if you do, I'm sorry to say you'll have to look elsewhere. Some may think there's not much to chart in such a barren place, but sand shifts, uh, sand shift all the time. I can make map after map after map. We are going to purchase this so that we have it for future use, but we are going to spend the remainder of this episode. Well, actually, what time are we at? Oh, gosh. I actually need to call this an episode, don't I? Shoot. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's head back and grab, like, one or two more things just to fully call this an episode. Because I, I'm going to feel really bad if, like, I just call it here. Because we're going to actually be heading to Bower's Reach next. Also, you can totally attack these guys through the sand now, which is really cool. Every time you dash into them, you do damage. Um, but I'm going to grab a couple more things. And then in the next episode, we'll be returning to Bower's Reach and exploring the remainder of it. So, let's see. I can't do anything with the shovel yet, actually. So, let's head on over here. And actually, okay, we got this fellow. Let's head down this way. Let's do this. Yes. Oh, what the? Hey, don't oh, projectile attack me, sir. Okay, do another slow attack. Get out of here. All right, let's go on down this way. And we got this fella. Watch out for him. Make sure you're dashing through him whenever coming into contact with him, like un unlike I just did. Ow. Or make him hit the spikes. That works, too. Yeah, don't be too reckless with this ability, as that is an incredibly easy thing to do. Okay, so this is actually where the spirit trial begins, so having to memorize that path is going to be difficult. Okay, here's one thing I can show. So one last mechanic in this area is these things. You can actually have these things that guide you. Oh, excuse me, I messed that up. Let's try that again. You can, or these things can follow you, and what you can do with them is you can actually bash them places to open up things like that. All right. I know this has been kind of a little bit of a messy introduction to the Windswept Waste, but that is all that I wanted to do because this ability, this was actually the first ability that I ever got after the second encounter with Ku and once all of the, like the location of all of the Wisps were revealed, this was the first ability I got in my playthrough and I found it 
very, very handy for traversing all of the future areas that we're going to be coming into contact with, specifically Bowers Reach and the Luma Pools. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Ori in the Will of the Wisps. I hope you've all enjoyed it very much. In the next episode, I will be meeting you guys back in Bowers Reach, and we will be finishing up that area in its entirety. So, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.